First, before anything else, uh, well done to you if you're watching this video that tells me you have an interest in dividend investing and a dividend you know, stock strategy, which, which is great. It is a fantastic strategy. I personally use it. And if you're watching this, like I said, that tells me that not only are you looking to maybe get into it, but you're also concerned about, well, I saw you need to avoid something, so I wanna be smart about dividend investing, so what, what do I need to avoid? And that's what I wanna talk about here is, again, yes, there is certainly something that on the surface, it's, it, you, it makes you think, especially when you're new, oh wow, yeah, that, wow, really? Awesome. But when you peel back the layers, which is what I wanna do here, it's not a good situation and it certainly needs to be avoided if you're gonna do a dividend you know, investing strategy to you know, grow your wealth and invest into the stock market. And it all has to do with dividend yield. If Depending on where you are in your journey, maybe you have seen some dividend yields and you're thinking, whoa, I, it, that's gonna pay me that amount of a dividend? I, I'm gonna make 10, 15% return? I'm, real, wow, I, I'm getting that stock. That's a high yielding dividend. And that's a term that gets thrown out, you know, hey, high yielding dividends, high yielding dividends. And I see lots of videos out there and sometimes it's like, oh, please don't be talking about some, that's not where you should be directing people to because those are high dividends for a reason. And as I'm gonna show here, the reason is not good. So why does this need to be avoided? Well, because these are very risky companies. These are companies that, it's not like they're sitting there, yeah, we're so good, so we're gonna pay you 15%. That's, that's not how they arrive at a high yield. The way they arrive is, well, basically becoming worse and worse as the company. And the best way to explain this is just to show you through the math of how it all works out. So the equation for dividend yield is dividend per share over the stock price. I should note, if, you're not even, if you have no idea what a dividend even is, I'll put a link down below to a video where I talk about just what is a dividend. But I am assuming you know at least the general principle of how a dividend works. But that is the equation there for yield. So just for example sake, let's say there's a company out there and they are doing $3 per share. So every share you own in that company, you're gonna get $3. And let's just say that the stock price is currently at $100. So over here, we're gonna track the stock price here. And stock price, $100. So at $100, what is that giving? Well, not to insult your intelligence, but three divided by 100 is gonna be 0.03. And then of course, remember back to elementary, multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So 3% is what the yield is gonna be at that point in time. 3%, yeah, I mean, a, a good sell dividend. But time goes on, and, and I don't know why, but just, Business happens, life happens, the market shift, you know, whatever's going on, and all of a sudden, this thing is down. Maybe I'll just stick with green, or else I'm gonna be here all day picking up different markers. But this thing's down here at $80. So now all of a sudden, what's going on? Well, if this number now becomes 80, what does that math do? No, I, I had a cheat, I have a cheat sheet up there because I'm not that good with math, but at that point in time, the yield would now be 3.75%. So from a, a yield perspective, hey, that's great. They're paying even more. True, but how did they get to paying more? Well, their stock price went down. Let's, let's keep going. So again, life, business happens, all that. And now all of a sudden, their stock price is at $50. So over here, we need to get them things updated and well, their, their stock price no longer at 80, it's at 50. So let's do the math on that and I got a cheat, look up there. Now all of a sudden we're at a 6% dividend yield. Wow, 6%? Man, this company must be doing great. They're paying 6% dividend? Wait a second. Do you get where I'm, well, how did it get to 6%? Well, the stock price just dropped even more. Let's do this a couple more times. I'm gonna cheat ahead because we're doing this two more times. So we'll do there. And here, so the next pit stop for the price is now at 25. So again, well, we gotta redo the math. This is now at 25. So you do the math on that. And now all of a sudden we're sitting at 12%. 12% dividend, and there are, if you do a, a search for high yields, you will see stocks out there that are you know at 10% and above. And wow, I get it, it's like, a, almost like a tractor beam. You wanna just walk into it and grab it, but remember, avoid it. Why do you need to avoid it? Again, how did, the, how did the deal get that high? Well, because the price keeps dropping of the shares. Why do share prices drop? Something's wrong with the company. 
What is wrong with the company? I mean, there's a lot of different reasons and theories out for that. But the point here being, if deals are going, yields are going up because stock prices are going down, not good. And then finally, just to finish this off, but I probably uh, hammered this home good enough, but we'll just finish it off. You have the stock price now at $15. So you do the math on that. And that equates to 20%. Whoa, 20%. Yeah, well, remember the, the share price used to be at $100 and now it's all the way down at 15? Not good. So again, just to kind of map out the general rule here, if, so the big if, the dividend percentage is going up because, and then stock price going down, this is the exact thing that needs to be avoided. You do not wanna be out there chasing yield as it's called if you wanna sound smart. Oh man, I got caught chasing yield. If you are chasing yield, you're not being smart, you're not considering all the factors of how that yield got to where it was. So that's one thing you need to avoid. It's, it's very common, I, uh, I, I did it before, what was it, S-T-O-N, S-T-O-N, uh, I tried it, and they, they paid me a couple of huge dividends, but then the company said, fine, we're not, we're not paying the dividend anymore. Because eventually what happens is the companies can no longer afford to pay the dividend. So when they, pay the, when they announce that the dividend has been slashed, guess what happens? Well, now this price absolutely just plummets that much further down. And I mean, it can get really, really nasty in, in, in many situations. Uh, so companies, they're gonna pay that dividend for as long as possible, but when the dividend reaches, those sorts of percentages, yeah, it may be there temporarily, but not for very long. And then, like I said, when the company says, we literally, they wave the white flag, we can't pay for it anymore. See you later, stock price. That's gonna plummet it that much more. Again, I wanna reiterate, I'm not here saying that dividend investing is a stupid strategy. No, it's a great strategy, but you gotta make sure you avoid certain pitfalls out there. And chasing yield, again, just focusing on strictly the yield itself is something that definitely needs to be avoided. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, leave those down below. Maybe let me know this. What, is, what are some of your favorite dividend stocks that you're invested in? And uh, you know, do you have any horror stories? Do you have any stories uh, where you did chase the yield and then you got burnt by it? Like I said, S-T-O-N was my kind of high dividend yield thing that I chased and got burned. Uh, luckily, I, I kind of knew it going in, so it's not like I threw my entire life savings into it. It was just a little bit, let's, let's see if this thing can turn around but no, it didn't turn around. So yeah, leave any horror stories down below or just let me know what some of your favorite dividend stocks are out there. I'd love to hear that for you from you. And if you enjoyed the video and would like for me to keep making these sorts, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Lots of other videos on the channel. So check it out. And uh, if anything though, just hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And uh, I'm, I'm very curious to hear what stocks you're looking at and uh, who doesn't like a good horror story. So leave those down below too. And I'll see you back for the next video. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.